Chunker ignored the doctor's philosophy and hasn't collected the apple of Aiden. As he was about to enter the secret realm, he was intercepted by Dalek and was beamed up into the hangar bay of their mothership. Conker was taken to the prison cell on the murder ship where he saw the doctor and his companions were captured as well. The look in the doctor's eyes tells Conker that all hope was lost. The fleet of derelict ships made their way through the rift to launch a surprise attack on humanity. It was the end of humanity as we knew it. Or was it? Thousands of years later, as the world lay in ruins, another hero of time rises up to save the parallel universes. On that faithful day, Conquer's early arrival in the sacred realm triggered the apple of Eden he had collected. It started glimmering and displaying glyphs of various origins, and then a hieroglyphic image of various people was projected in front of him. A female voice explained to Conquer that he was reliving the memories of the people who had possessed the apple of Eden before him. She warned him of the great consequences of wielding such an artifact. She was named Judah and was a member of the first civilization. She also revealed to him that the ancient goddesses weren't deities, but instead this first civilization of humans that was born on the planet Earth. She told him that in order to save his civilization from extinction, he would have to sacrifice his life using the apple. The female voice then manifested before Conquer and asked him about his decision to sacrifice himself for the good of civilization. For the greater good, Conquer chose to sacrifice himself. All of this has happened before, and all of this will happen again. But it was because of his sacrifice that day that this legend was passed down generations among civilization. So say we all. Conker arrives in the sacred realm without finishing his quest. He rushes to the last boss fight unprepared. I don't need to find everything. All I need to do is get the fuck out of here. Go home. Have a bottle of beer. Yeah. He looks in his inventory and takes out all the rings of power he has and attempts to close the rift. He had successfully closed the rift between the space-time continuum by himself, but without the doctor's help, there were dire consequences. Conker grew more reliant to use the rings of power over time, and went on a quest to find all of them. The more rings he found, the more he was addicted to the power. Conquer eventually loses control of himself and forgets what his original goal was. But that was the beginning of a new story. Since the hordes of the Dark Lord Sauron grew closer to him every day. Conker arrives in the sacred realm with the complete Triforce and all the rings of power. With the might of the One Ring, Conker commands the programmers to return Barry to him. What should we do now, Seth? Just kick him off the pyramid for me, please. Uh, by me? Because Puzzle is busy, and Euclid is 
down under. Uh, okay, okay. And with their mighty powers, the programmers kicked Cowper from the highest pyramid ever built to his doom. While falling, Cowper wished that he had restored the TARDIS to its original form earlier, and the Triforce translated his thoughts into reality. A newly regenerated doctor then appeared and saved the fallen Conqueror. The doctor also tells Conqueror that he can travel anywhere in time and space. Conqueror chose to travel to moments before Barry was killed, saving her in the process. He then went back, sitting on his throne with his resurrected wife along with them. Conquer chose to align himself with the light side of the Force and to protect the parallel universes at all costs. Be advised that however tempting it can be, the dark side of the Force isn't a path anyone should undertake. May the Force be with Conquer. Conquer arrives in the sacred realm with the complete Triforce and all the rings of power. With the might of the One Ring, Conquer commands the programmers to return Barry to him. What should we do now, Seth? Just kick him off the pyramid for me, please. Uh, by me? Because Puzzle Man is busy and the clear is down under. Oh, okay, okay. And with their mighty powers, the programmers kicked Conquer from the highest pyramid ever built to his doom. While falling, Conquer wished that he had restored the TARDIS to its original form earlier, and the Triforce translated his thoughts into reality. A newly regenerated doctor then appeared and saved the fallen Conquer. The Doctor also tells Conqueror that he can travel anywhere, in time, in space. Conqueror chose to travel to moments before Barry was killed, saving her in the process. He then went back, sitting on his throne, with his resurrected wife along with him. Conquer ignored Obi-Wan Kenobi's ghost and stole Darth Vader's lightsaber. Unbeknownst to Conquer, wielding the lightsaber gradually turned him to the dark side of the Force. He was greeted by a black Triforce when he returned to the Sacred Realm years later. Little remained of the funny little squirrel we all came to love. His wishes were now filled with hatred for freedom and world domination. Using the Black Triforce, he summoned a huge meteor right above the rift that links the parallel universes, crushing all resistance to his evil plans. In the following, he created an empire ruled by power and fear to achieve his objectives. The parallel universes has since been under the rule of an evil state lord. History knows this dark epic as the Darth Conquer's Empire. Thousands of years later, as the parallel universes lay in ruins, a lonely Conquer questioned himself. Have I really made the right choice when I decided to ignore Obi-Wan's advice? 